Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about some tips that really helped me when I had a c-section. I was really gunning for a natural birth but sadly it was not meant to be. Um, Noah was breech and we tried everything to get him to turn. Some really strange methods such as holding smoking cigar like things by my toes. Um, we went for an ECV and nothing really worked. He wanted to stay where he was. And so yeah, I ended up with a C-section. And these are some hints and tips that really did help in my recovery. The recovery was nowhere near as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, and it could be because of these things that I'd learned before I went into it. So I'd say the most important thing is to be as mobile as possible. They say get as much rest as you can get, and that is true to an extent, but it's also really good to move your body. And not just for the physical side of things, but also the mental. You get outside, you go for a walk in the sunshine, and it can really shift your day. Uh, stop, get, stop you getting cabin fever and you get to show off that gorgeous baby of yours. So absolutely do that. It is proven to aid a speedy recovery. Secondly is take your pain meds. Don't be a hero. Don't try not to take your medication. Whatever they think is safe for you to take, take it and take it at the times that they tell you to take it. I think that's the most important thing. I set alarms on my phone that went off every four hours or however often it was to take my medication and honestly I had a pain-free recovery. I felt no pain um, and it was basically because I always took my meds before I needed them. I think a common mistake is that people wait until they feel the pain and at that point the pain's built up to a level where that medication, if it's ibuprofen or paracetamol, won't do the trick. So honestly take it at the time stipulated and you can stop yourself from reaching that point. The next thing is kind of a homeopathic remedy but a lot of people swear by it and that is to take Arnica pills. You can get them from any pharmacy or health store like, such as Holland and Barrett. I took these before I went into theatre and every, I can't remember, I think it was every couple of hours afterwards you take one of these tiny microscopic little Arnica balls and they are supposed to reduce the swelling and the internal bruising and I mean I can't say for sure that they worked but like I say I really had a great recovery so I can recommend these. The next thing is constipation. Some of the medication they'll give you in hospital can cause constipation as well as lying still for a long time and having weaker stomach muscles. This is a really common problem no matter how you've given birth but I think especially if you've had a c-section and you've had that spinal block. So my top tips for handling this are to make sure you drink loads of water. I took Senecot into the hospital with me, which is a herbal remedy for constipation. And also just to eat really fibrous foods, um, eat quite healthy, light foods, lots of fruit and veg. Some people swear by prune juice, so I guess you can't go wrong trying this. The other really uncomfortable part of recovering from a C-section is wind. Wind can really build up and be trapped in your body um, during the operation and some people say that that is the worst part of the recovery. So what you want to do to minimise it is to drink lots and lots of peppermint tea. It won't cause any harm to you or the baby, it's caffeine free and this can really help as a homeopathic remedy to wind. Next is one you've probably already heard but it is to wear really high-waisted, loose clothes. If you're based in the UK like I am, it depends on what time of year you have your baby, but ideally you want to get away with just wearing a nice, big, loose, baggy dress. Or alternatively, if it's winter or autumn, you might go for some jogging pants. Don't go for looks, ladies. Comfort is key, and you will know that once you've had your baby. Someone told me also that if you don't want to go out and buy some huge granny knickers, borrow some of your boyfriend's boxers if he wears boxers because you, you, you want that high waist, you don't want those hipster trunks. 
I personally went out and bought some size 16 knickers or something, a lot bigger than I'd normally buy, and they worked a charm. When you leave the hospital and you are driving home, well, you won't be driving home because I don't believe you're insured to drive home, but whoever's driving you home, try to avoid speed bumps. Uh, I had to go down a row of about 20 speed bumps, and yeah, it was scary, <laughs> and I was clutching myself. It was awful, so I really would try and plan a route that avoids speed bumps if you possibly can. This is something I just never thought of until I was going over them. <laughs> Lastly, if it's possible to have a co-sleeper next to your bed, this can really help with those late night wake-ups. Your baby will be feeding pretty frequently, and so the last thing you want to be doing is getting out of bed, which, trust me, is a slow process when you've just had a C-section. You really want to just have the baby next to you, so you can just kind of pull them into the bed, feed them, and put them back, if you're not co-sleeping already, which is equally a great option. So that is the end of my video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've taken away something that you hadn't already heard. Remember, this is such a precious time. Let people pamper you and look after you because you have definitely earned it. So take care and please do subscribe if you would like to see more videos. Thank you. Bye.